Okay, well, now you each get one minute to sum up, and we're going to start with Kate since we started with Alan at the other end. I want to thank you all again for coming. Thanks to the Neighborhood Network for putting this on. Uh, it's been a few hours, and I think we've heard a lot of substance, and I really appreciate the engagement because this is how we save the world. We engage in democracy. We have substantive dialogue on issues again, and we need to bring back excellence in government, and it starts here. It starts with people being informed. I also want to say that I appreciate all of the public service that is represented here at this table because it's a really sometimes thankless job and a difficult thing to do. I want to be the next mayor who has actionable, smart, grounded community solutions. I have a lot of experience in looking at best practices and applying them and a lot of miles under the wheels in understanding how this community works. It's my community. I grew up here. I came back because I wanted to make a difference. So please vote for me in the election on March 6th. What? Yeah, Peter. Yeah. Yeah. Reverse order. Uh, so I too would like to echo the thanks not only to the Neighborhood Network uh, for bringing us all here together tonight, but also to all of you for coming out. Uh, I would also like to compliment uh, all of the candidates uh, for the civility in this debate because I think that is something that is often lacking in this country in this day and age. So I appreciate very much the tone with which we have engaged the issues tonight. I said at the outset that this election is about leadership. Uh, you want a mayor who has lived and participated in our city and in civic life. You want a mayor who has demonstrated leadership within the city. You want a mayor who is caring, intelligent, and able to work with people across our community. I have that experience, that disposition, and the compassion to be your mayor, and again, ask for your vote on March 6th. Thank you all for uh, sitting in on this forum. and. Uh, Happy New Year to all of you, and I want to thank the Neighborhood Network for putting on a, a great forum. I think it's best when the audience gets to ask all the questions, which all of you did. Um, look, uh, we all share a love and passion for Santa Fe. Uh, I was born here, my son was born here, uh, I live here, I work here. Um, I, I love our outdoors and our quality of life, uh, but we have challenges. And we can address those challenges uh, individually uh, by individual neighborhoods, and certainly the mayor can't do it alone. And so if you support me and elect me as mayor, I'll make sure that we are one Santa Fe, moving Santa Fe forward together towards a shared vision of success and prosperity. We've been around for over four centuries, and so we must be doing something right as a community, right? And so let's continue that tradition uh, carrying on that sense of community and cultural preservation and, and pre pre preserving our, our neighborhoods and heritage. Thank you. Uh, thanks to the Neighborhood Network. Thank to all of you as well for coming out. I know it's cold outside. But, you know, I was born here. I grew up here. I went to school here. I fell in love with my wife here. I got married here. I raised my kids here. I buried my father here. I have stake in this community. This community means everything to me. You, you, you don't just get up one day and say, gee, I think I'm gonna run for city council or mayor just because it's the neat thing to do. No, you run because you care about your community, you care about the people, and you care about who, you know where your city's going. So I ask, I humbly ask you for your vote on March 6th. I'm number five on the ballot, but number one in your heart. <laughs> <laughs> as, as I say, many get Querido Santa Fe! <laughs> well, I, I echo my, uh, my friendly rivals up here. Thank you to the Neighborhood Network and Karen for her great work. Uh, to all of you for coming out, I wish you could sit up here at this table and see what you look like. This is a, this is a very beautiful audience because you all love Santa Fe. I think this election is about change. This election is about this report. 
which says that Santa Fe isn't working to do the things we all want it to do. We've made a change in the city government. We are going to have a strong mayor who needs to be a manager and a leader, who knows how to build a team and deliver results. We have plans in this city for everything. We've had plans for building housing for 20 years. We've had plans for economic diversification for 20 years, but it hasn't gotten done. Now, when we start with a strong mayor, we'll have the opportunity to have somebody in the mayor's office who will get things done for the people of Santa Fe. I'm asking you to make me that mayor. Thank you. Well, let's get